I hope you guys are cuddled up at home um, in your, what are you in? Loggers, bamboo, joggers. <laughs> I would um, I would be in my um, loggers and bamboo right now. That is my quarantine uniform. That is actually my uniform period. So, um, but while things are just still, um, you know, like they are for all of us right now, I'm just here to be a happy distraction. So hopefully you're turning, tuning in with us and uh, joining today's happy distraction. While we're having happy distraction, we um, happen to be launching new products. So I've said every week that um, ever since this thing, this virus hit, um, started and hit China and Asia and everywhere else our stuff is manufactured, we have um, had a lot of a lot of issues, a lot of production issues, a lot of delays, a lot of um, delays, a lot of delays. <laughs> um, so when this all happened, I we scrambled as a production team, my production team scrambled and we tried to move as much of our um, Chinese manufacturing over to the US, okay? So mind you, this was before, this was in, this would have been early February, so long before the U.S. had any clue of what was about to happen, okay? So today's launch, because we were able to successfully do that with a lot of our products, successfully to you guys, <laughs> major, major headaches um, on our end with the manufacturing, but that's okay. Today's launch is, all of it is made in the USA, except for one, except for, except for this top. This is the only one. Um, this top, everything else, every other product in today's launch, including the necklaces, the dress, the tie-dye shirt, everything else that launched today is made in the USA. So let us some, let's support some homemade, homebound, homemade, um, goodness. And all of this stuff was done, like I said, you guys, before this, this, this all happened in that very small window of the month of March when China was shut down and before the U.S. got shut down. So thankfully, I am so thankful that um, we were able to scramble and make some changes that those products are here now. So I'm not, I'm not going to talk your ear off today. I did that last time. But um, I just want to share that that's how things have worked around here. Um, and while it's been a complete headache on our end, I'm just thankful that um, we were able to do what we can so that um, we were able to save products that we can. So um, in addition, you guys, during this whole time, we um, partnered with a mom and daughter artisan um, team, local team here, and had these necklaces made. And I'm so excited. Actually, can I, can I talk about these first? Can I start with these? Okay. Ash says I can do it. <laughs> I can do whatever I want first. So let's talk about the necklaces first. So we did, um, we had actually had designed these necklaces a while ago, but we weren't sure when or if we were going to do it. And I'm so thankful we partnered with this sweet um, mom and daughter team for four different, just dainty and sweet necklaces. So I wear necklace, I wear something like this, something like all four of these every day. I'm not a big jewelry person. Like I'm not like, I gotta have a full stack on my wrist all the time. I usually just have something really simple in my ears if I do have anything in my ears. And I love something just tiny and simple around my neck because I wear a lot of t-shirts, I wear a lot of basics, especially right now. And so we just wanted to design necklaces that were um, perfect for that, okay? Nothing um, flashy, not really feeling like they are, they are the necklace. We designed these necklace, necklaces to match and to be worn with everything. They're stackable, they're layerable, they work in stacks, and they're just really, really um, simple and sweet pieces. So the metal, like let's talk about, okay, let me let me focus a little bit here. There are four necklaces, <laughs> start there. Um, they are, the metal on all of them is, what did I say, uh, what did I say this is? The color is antique brass. Antique brass. Okay, so the chains are, I'm gonna put my hand up so you guys can try to see this better. They're antique brass in color. We did that, so similar, um, they're actually the same chains that we used in our um, 
vintage coin necklaces last year okay I love this color of jewelry but because to me it's pretty jewelry neutral okay you can stack you can wear silvers with it it's not really like glaringly um, you know shiny gold or something like that where you feel like you don't you have to coordinate your jewelry like here I have like a gold hoop on but here's that antique <coughs> brass in the chain here okay so I feel like it's a pretty neutral um, color for anything so um, this one is the half moon the pounded half moon it is let me see can you guys see this okay it's a half moon design and then it's pounded okay so the ladies pound there you can see a little bit um, just really giving like character on the neckline um, and that's that half moon shape so this is one of the longer of the two they do have um, they have the lobster claw closure and they are um, have an extension to be adjustable and then it's the little details I love about this stuff being handmade you guys is they are connected by instead of just like a jump ring we have these can you see, oh, hold on um, these infinity there we go there we go little infinity um, connectors with little beads on the inside so just little details like that that make the handmade um, aspect of these just you know I don't know good it makes them good it makes them you know it makes them show oh, someone said Stacy said harmonizes well with other metals great way to put that Stacy thanks for sharing that I've been searching for a word to say goes with other metals or whatever I love that so it harmonizes well with other metals okay so that's the half moon that is a longer length this one um, obviously it does have they all have the ingestible but this one we made to kind of um, be able to layer here we go I'm messing with my neck every time I touch my neck I get I'm not allergic to, <laughs> to metal but every time I touch my neck I get all swatchy so that's why this is do this um, this one is made to sit a little bit lower so whether you like you know drop it straight down here or kind of have it off to the side it um, stacks really really well okay and then so that's the first one that is the half moon necklace then we have let's do the rock cut moonstone is what I have on you guys Sorry, I'm gonna get all splotchy. This is the raw cut moonstone. Now, this is exactly what it is when I say raw cut. It is a raw cut moonstone. So every piece, every stone is slightly different. Every cut, every, I think it is better when I hold up my hand. Don't look at my nails. I do them, did them, did them myself and they're terrible. Um, every piece is a little bit different. So there's a, it's, it is, um, it's moonstone. And it's raw cut and there you can see so see how that shape a little bit different from piece to piece they all are going to kind of be rectangular ish in square rectangular ish in shape and then they are just suspended um, between that same antique brass chain okay and then they have same thing same details on all of them they have those infinity um, connectors with the little beading on the inside they are adjustable ex or expandable adjustable <laughs> I'm not I don't really know jewelry language all that well so uh, forgive me if I'm using the wrong turn if you're a jewelry maker out there okay adjustable now this one is a shorter one all of the um, all of these listings online guys on our site graceandlace.com um, they uh, have the links so it has the length and then it had we also list the adjust to the adjustable to links so it has like the shorter length available and then the adjustable length I think on a couple of these the one I'm going to show next online we actually on the model we um, had it at her shortest like adjust like the shortest length available and then the longest length available so you can kind of see okay you need one of those oh you guys I'm sorry I don't have like a, a camera that, that does up close very well so I apologize but I'm I'm doing my total best to be able to see um okay so we're looking Ash just yelled she's looking into it so I don't even know what you're asking but when everybody asking she's looking into it um so that's the the rock hunt moonstone this one stays closer up the top very dainty very cute easy to stack with um if you want to stack this with your coin necklace from last year if you have like any other pieces whoever said harmonizes well this metal harmonizes well with other colors with other favorite necklaces that you have um really dainty and easy uh to wear okay next is the orbit necklace i love this one because of how we worked with them on the on connecting okay this is one of the longer a bit longer option as well okay so this one hold on i'm going to be really still okay 
This one is a uh, circle, metal circle, and then it, its infinity um, connecting pieces have labradite. I hope I'm saying that right. That is that type of stone, and it's kind of grayish. You guys can see that connects to that. Now, what I love about this one, you guys, is when it's hung, I go like this again. When it's hung at its, um, see how it it is not uh, stable in connection, and in, in what I mean by that is that it can be, if you wear it tighter, it can be um, pulled to look more like a ring, or it can drop like this. Okay, so I'm sorry, you guys. I know I'm totally butchering this, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. Okay, so when you wear it, if you wear it at its longest length, it kind of hangs. Okay, like that, where its adjusters kind of come up and allow it to drop down. If you wear it at its shortest or shorter, see how it pulls, like the chains come and pull it more to, um, you know, suspend where the chains look like they're coming straight out for that. Okay, so if you drop it down, it looks a little bit more like that. When you wear it a little bit tighter and more, you know, like on the tighter adjusting, you're going to get a little bit more like that. So. Just kind of depends if you want to wear it at its longest and you prefer that length, you kind of have a little bit different length depending on where you wear it. So um, this is the Orbit necklace and this has two stones, two Labradite stones right there. And then, like I said, they all have the um, connectors to the lobster um, class that are neutral bead right there. Okay, last one. Then you don't, then I can go back to talking about clothing, something I know, know what it's more about. So, okay. Um, the, and then they're asking about my bracelets. Erica says I'm doing fine. Thank you, Erica. Thanks for your support. I feel like I'm struggling through this a little bit when I don't, I'm not the expert on jewelry. Um, the bracelets are Grace and Lace. These are Indian beaded bracelets. Um, and this guy is a bracelet from last year. I can't remember the name of that guy. Something tassel. Indian beading bracelets and tassel. I think these are still on our website, they come in a three pack, okay? Um, yes, and they are Grace and Lace. They come in a three pack. Put in Indian, breeded, Indian beaded bracelets on the search bar on our website, graceandlace.com, and these guys will come up for you. Okay, last one. Cheryl says I'm doing great. Thanks guys, I feel like I need the support right now. Uh, I appreciate it. Okay, um, and then this one, this is the last one. I fell in love with this um, aqua, aquamarine color. It is gorgeous, okay? This is a teardrop. Oh, I'm trying to get it to stay really still for you guys. It has so many cuts and angles on it. It's just so, so pretty, and I love the color. So, okay, so we have the infinity joiner up to the necklace, and then same, same deal here, the lobster claw. Um, and the extension. And then this one is a little bit shorter in length as well. Again, all the links are detailed on the listing for what they, what it's um, shortest closure, what the shortest closure is and what the longest is. Um, this one, I can put this on. I think I'm gonna do about halfway. Let's see what that's like. Oops. Um, this one I wanna put on because I just love the color against skin is so pretty. Okay. Maybe I should have made it a little bit longer. Okay. Look at how pretty that yeah. you guys see that? Ash, am I just totally ruining this live? <laughs> I'm gonna kick me off in a second. Maybe like it's she's butchering it. Against a color and not your skin. Well here, maybe use this shirt. <laughs> I don't no. know. That's worse? That's I want better. them to see That's the okay. color. See how pretty that is? It's my favorite color. I just feel like it's springy and just really, really, really pretty. And so that's about halfway on me for closing it. Let me see if I can get it. That was about halfway through, halfway on the extension. And then here's, okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to move on to clothing in a second. She's a mess. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, there we go. We're just going to go with that. I love that. Look at how pretty that is. And then you kind of just put the put your stack or put a little bit of color in your bracelet. I don't know. Isn't that pretty? 
just dainty, very sweet, perfect for spring and summer. And it's like that perfect, like sea glass, aquamarine, like ocean. Okay, let's all, um, let's all dream that we're on a beach at the ocean right now. If it is just like a drop of ocean water, maybe I should have called it that, <laughs> drop of ocean water, that we can all just be laying on the beach without a care in the world, the pina colada or whatever. There you go. Simple, totally cute, very simple. You can wear it with, you, can, you don't have to style these. That's what I like about simple jewelry is you don't have to, um, you don't have to style it. Just put it on and it's going to look good with it, whatever you wear. Okay, let <laughs> Lori says you're not ruining it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Linda says you make me laugh like sisters. We are all, we're all sisters around here. <laughs> and Erin says I'm doing brilliant. All right, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the feedback. We're going to move on to something I uh, know a little bit more about. <laughs> um, so, Yes, uh, someone had a question about these selling out. So Amy said, um, can we make more of these? I did not, we did not make very much of these because literally, you guys, this mom and daughter team was um, racing to make these before um, the whole like shelter in place shutdown stuff happening. So um, we did, I like, they were like, we're gonna make as many as we can, whatever we can make. I was like, I will take whatever you can make. Um, and so we don't have very many, all four of these necklaces, they, I was like, even if you can't give me an equal amount in both, just whatever you can do, whatever you can do. I emailed, I talked to them last night, emailed them last night and I was like, I, I don't think we have enough of these necklaces. What, um, is there anything you can do? Like and they said they brought all their supplies home and they're able to do them from home for us if we do need more. So hopefully we can restock, but it will be a couple of weeks because, um, obviously they're just not in their studio and working in their studio, but they did have a feeling that they didn't make enough for us. So she did say they brought um, supplies home to make more if they do sell out. Okay, all right, let's move on. I'm gonna get my confidence back. Um, and I saw someone said, maybe we should change the name. They, they agreed, someone said they agreed that they liked the uh, drop of ocean water. Okay, so we can all have a little bit of um, <sighs> wonderful peace joy, happiness, laying on the beach in a little drop of that on your neck. Like, all right, let's move on. Slub Henley tea is first. Um, okay, you guys, um, remember our, who has the Highlander tea? Okay, the Outlander Highlander tea. I think we called it a Highlander tea. Does anyone have that one? If you have that one, this is what this one is um, made out of. Same material. Okay, same material as the Highlander tea, um, and similar in kind of styling, but or in fit, but in a short sleeve, carefree body. If you can't see me, remember you can swipe your comments to the side if you can't see me very well. Okay. Ooh, someone said call it Serenity. Maybe I'm gonna come to you guys to ask what we should name things in the future because you guys have some good names. Okay. So. Um, here we go. Nice long length in this guy. Really, really comfortable. It is that slub material. So same as the Highlander shirt. Very, very soft. Drapes really, really well. And then in these two really, really pretty colors. So um, we picked these colors months and months and months ago. Eight months, ten months ago. Um, and this time of year would be great for, you know, typically for a nice spring bright colored t-shirt. So whether you're stuck at home, whether you're walking around the block, um, it's a nice, casual, carefree t-shirt. Now it has these three buttons here. You can wear them, you, they are functional. Functional. So if you prefer a more conservative neckline, you can wear them buttoned. If you want something a little bit more relaxed, um, you can unbutton up. It's still that really great length that we kind of do in all of our shirts. This is the size small. I would say it runs true to size. It's nice fit down through the bust, okay? Um, and then has a little bit of room just so you can knot or you can tuck it um, for that really casual look. The little details here, okay, very similar to that Highlander top that kind of give you that, um, the uh, pleating here. And then just a, you know, cute little, cute little flutter sleeve on this one. Berry and, uh, do we call it aqua? Dusty mint, dusty mint. But it's a nice, really pretty aqua color. Maybe it's the ocean. Maybe this is just all on, on purpose because um, these colors are going to be pretty similar. Okay, okay. let's bring out the girls. Ash is here. Have, has anyone missed Ash? We love Ash. I hope you guys have missed her. 
she was very sweet for coming in today. So um, here you go. Bust, no bust. But it's just ca like whether you have bust, it fits well. Without bust, it's just casual. Fits Why really good. Why should you point so. that out? Well, because <laughs> you have it and I don't. Okay, so so she's got it buttoned all the way up from she. She's I'm not going to let today. that. Yes, she's not going to let that down. No. Okay, <laughs> that's her preference. So look at they're they're giving you hearts. They're glad you're back. Oh my gosh, the necklaces are already sold out. They are. Yeah. Um, Amanda, will you email um, yep. Michelle? Okay, she's on it. Guys, we'll get some more up on pre-order for the necklaces. They all are sold out? All of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Hold on. We'll work on that. So, more conservative type. You don't want the cleavage showing or whatever. Keep them buttoned. And if you're casual or you wear a tank under a bralette and want that unbuttoned, you can unbutton it. Uh, up to you. So, um, Ash is in the small, right? Yep. And I'm in the small. Okay. So, just bust. as you took it. No bust. Bust. <laughs> and no bust. <laughs> See? Looks good. It's it good. And we're polar opposites <laughs> in color. Like, she loves this berry, and I prefer this See, one. look at the pretty with the blonde, yeah. and then the berry with the dark. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll be back. Love you, Ashley. She'll be back. Okay. If the necklaces are gone, um, so Katie, what's the, okay, oh, I have Katie's size. Katie likes the small. See, look at how great this team is. They tell me, they wrote down, even though these people are here, they're helping you out by saying what you, what you um what size these people prefer okay lexi someone asked so katie prefers the small um if you are between sizes and you don't have bus so katie's between sizes um she can sometimes use it extra small and things but she's bustier if you are between sizes and narrow and not busty you could probably size down on this one i can't size down on it this one fits me perfectly uh, the sizing down is just too would be too tight uh for me for preference because I'm broad. So if you're narrow, um, kind of no, like not busty, you could probably size down in this. Okay. All right. The necklaces. Let's just address that one second. Okay. Um, in case you just missed it. Um, they made as many as they could for us before they shut down, before they had to shut down for shelter in place. They did, this mom and daughter team did bring the supplies home with them. I contacted them last night and I said, I don't think we have enough. Can you make more? And she said, yes, we brought them all home. We can make more. So what we're going to do is hold on tight. We're going to list, um, activate that listing again with pre-order. I just need to get from them um, how long it's going to take to get more. Okay. But they will start working on them right away. All right. Um, okay. So Lexi, Ashley, Lexi, and Katie, and myself, wear the small in this, Michelle, Morgan, Kaylee, all wear the extra small. And then Amanda's in this in the extra large. <sighs> Ashley's so darn cute. Her personality shines. I agree. We all love her personality here. Okay, so Amanda, so same deal. Okay, really flattering on bust. She opened up a couple just to give her a little bit. She opened up one. Okay, look at how fun. The little necklace right there. Perfect. Okay, um, just flattering. Looks good, sits good, and feels good on. All right. Um, okay. Um, yes, hold tight on the necklaces, guys. Uh, I'm probably, it's they're probably not going to reload to the site until this live is done, just so we can get in contact with the makers and um, see how how many, how much of their supplies they have um, to do more. Amanda, will you check to make sure the restock notify is up on those? And if not, to ask, or Nicole, if you're watching, um, can you make sure the restock notify is up? If the restock notify, click on there, click on, um, click on the listing of the necklace that you want and the add to cart if it's sold out should turn to restock notify me for a restock it would help us greatly if you click on that and put your email address in for the one that you want because that would kind of give me an idea of which ones sold out the fastest and the ones you want more of and how many more we need to get them to try to make. Okay, all right, next, straight mini dress. All right, we have been waiting for this one, and this was one that um, was like a scramble for us um, to get the US, our US production to make this one, okay? And I'm so glad because um, the way that we did the stripes on this and the way that we, this, this is just flattering on every single body type, so. You guys know we have dresses, we have wrap dresses, we have some that are v-necks, we have some that are spaghetti straps, we do some that are like a cap sleeve. This one we wanted to give you kind of that, um, what would this be, like not 1950s, but we wanted to give you that kind of classic coverage, 
nice high you know coverage great sleeve and we love how the stripes play on this thing and that's what makes this dress so great okay the vertical stripes going down from waist um down is very slimming okay so we didn't we didn't go all horizontal stripes going all the way for that reason and then we added them back here down at the bottom now this is a t-length dress i think is what we're calling it it is it is longer it is past quite a bit past um almost down to i don't know i would say probably four or five inches past my knees midi you guys can see midi dress that's what we call it midi length dress okay so it's kind of between like cat it hits at the calf for most people if you're taller obviously it'll be shorter but for me who's five five i don't know if you guys can see okay there's my knee and so it's quite a bit under the knee really great length it's a good length that looks good whether you wear it with a wedge or with a uh, with a flat like i would totally just wear it with our black slides just like this what i love about stripes you guys is that they are completely neutral okay but they're 1940s okay you guys are helping me <laughs> maybe you guys should be the ones doing my live today okay um the coverage is fantastic but you can still wear you could still you can still put this with our denim jacket you can um you could add some color and some a uh, big stack of bracelets with this you could tie something around the waist you could add a pop necklace like a nice pop necklace up at the top if you did want to add a color but i love the fact that it's neutral but it has it's not just a solid neutral okay the stripes really really give it character all right very very flattering and i'm telling you this is flattering on every single body that is something in our fittings um with our tech design team that we really really want to make sure that we pay attention to and try to do is really make it work well for people who have a bust for people who have no bust for people who are narrow for people who are wide um and then in addition um oh, what was i going to say about this one is that oh if you're if you have a baby bump if you know someone who's pregnant um, this one, d being that it's stretchy jersey material, can absolutely accommodate a cute little pregnancy bump, bump um, and just be comfortable in the warm summer months. So the material is our perfect pocket tee, stretchy jersey material, easy to wear, all right? Um, just comfortable, feels good, but easy to dress up or just be super summery, um, super summery casual. So think of those days when you're able to be out and about um, and whether you want to dress it up for church or for an event, you absolutely can do that, or it can just be your, your summer sundress, okay? Really comfortable, easy, and easy, easy to wear. And then, yes, very, very stretchy. And it's black and white. I think I asked someone if they, it's, it is black and white, not navy and white, okay? Wedge shoe would also dress it up as well, or a heel, but um, I would do a flat or flip, flip flop for just ultimate comfort, okay? Um, so it runs true to size, um, but of course it is stretchy. So the only point of kind of real tension on it would be this line right here, which goes under, under the bust. I would be careful not to size down for that reason. So if between sizes, you can probably size down. I can't size down to the extra small. This line becomes too tight on me under my rib cage, okay? Um, we did that on purpose because I really didn't want to confuse people with sizing. So we wanted to make it as true to size um, as possible. So it is stretchy at that line right there, but we really wanted to keep it as true to size as possible. So I wear the small in it. Um, and then Ash is going to wear the small. Lexi wears the small. Katie um, goes down to the extra. She can wear the small or the extra small. Okay. So the the top accommodates bust just fine. So there's not really a reason to size up or down for bust. It's more just if you want to, uh, if you're narrow, like narrow through the hips, no nope, flat butt, um, straight or narrow, then you could, you, the only reason why sizing down, you might get a little bit more fitted in the hip and butt than you want. So I would really, really stay in your normal size in this one. I really, I mean, maybe if between, between sizes, um, you can go down, but otherwise I would say it really, really um, is best for being really true to size. Okay, all right, Ashley in this. And let me just tell you, you guys, it looks good on everyone, okay? <laughs> all right, so drop necklace just to break it up a little bit. I mean, the, the sleeves are nice and long, give that little illusion, but they also kind of, you know, the, the angles here that play a lot better. 
come straight down and then you have your the stripes go horizontal right here so she's got it on with a just a flat sandal you can see small on her I wear the small as well these are our sandals oh no <laughs> these are mine but yep. Ash every once in a while I'll come up here to grab a pair of my shoes and they're gone and they're gone I needed them for the weekend yep that's how it works guys I do want to say something about this dress I'm not a dress person and when they uh, Missy had me try it on I'm like oh my gosh it's flattering because I am busty up here and I'm a little hippie and buddy but I mean it's just flattering yeah it's just so flattering through the rib cage mm -hmm. and it just flows it's just it's so fresh yeah. and yeah. I don't feel like it sticks out or this sticks out more than it already does <laughs> but I love it I just I need to go place my order so okay. if y'all want to grab it grab it now small and her so and I wear the small if you are between sizes or more narrow in frame you you might be able to get um, go down okay so if you're not very hippie not very curvy we did allow for it to accommodate curves just in the skirt we didn't you know you can see the ruching um, here so we didn't want it like super straight where it was really hugging curves so if you're straight you're straighter in body you could probably size down in this one um, otherwise you guys just staying true to size just gives you that overall comfortable fit okay all right Amanda's next Ashley looks great okay Amanda's next um, I agree it's gorgeous so look isn't that so freaking flattering oh my gosh I just think like the way the sleeve drops long the way the vertical stripes come down and then you have like the horizontal I don't know bottom I just it's think adorable. it's just really cute really cute okay she looks great all right so extra large on Amanda which is the normal size that she would really wear normally wear okay all right any questions regarding that um, really the coverage the comfort how comfortable it is is really what makes this dress um, a home run because of how just great it feels on the body okay all right everyone looks great in it uh, let's go to they're gonna do a scramble to change uh, both Amanda and um, Michelle, both everyone's staying true to size. Katie um, can go down. She can wear either. She can go to the extra small or she can wear the small one. Okay. All right. The tiered tie dye is next. All right. Let's talk about this guy. Um, tie dye is a trend. You're seeing it everywhere now. Tie dye brings me back to uh, it brings me back to my um, younger years. Okay. So I feel like tie dye personally just for personal preference is a little bit, um, just a younger audience than what I am. But I love being able to wear trends if they can, if I can make them um, relatable to my age, okay? So maybe that's gonna date me, I don't know, or date my age, but that's what I really wanted to do with this tie-dye. I didn't wanna go super, you know, dramatic and bright into the pastels and do the whole like crazy, okay? There, yes, there are people that I love the crazy tie-dye on, um, but I really wanted to do something that I would that I would truly wear, okay? And that's what this one is. Now, this, this material, so you have coral, kind of a bluish gray in here, the white still coming through. Obviously, it's tie-dye, so every piece is going to be unique, okay? And then there's no two that are gonna be alike, but your colors are within this coral tones and within this kind of gray-blue tone. Looks really good with denim, which was another reason we went with these tones. Okay, dark denim or light denim, or even like our gray distressed or our gray, your gray happy pants, if you have those, would look super cute with this, okay? So now, this material we haven't done before. This, again, was another production that we moved to the USA. This is a heavy um, blast wash, okay? So it is a um, Hachi knit. So it is a knit, it's not just a jersey, okay? It is a knit, but it's blast wash to feel like um, you, like the t-shirt that you have worn and washed 800 million times, okay? Very, very, very soft. Like it feels, almost feels like a baby's blanket that just has been through the wash like a million times. That's what this blast wash does to it. So it, um, but it's not a burnout, okay? So it does not adjust, like it does not um, adjust with continual washing. Like it, it holds what it, basically what it feels like right now is what, it, it doesn't continue developing from there, okay? Very, very like cut, I mean it feels, that's the best way it feels like my it feels like my daughter's blanket that has just been uh washed like a million times so it's so drapey very flowy feels really good on the body now 
Some of you kind of worry about peplums for a couple of different reasons. Some people say, I'm busty, I don't look good in peplums. I'm here to change your mind about that one with this one, okay? This one we bring in under the bus, okay? So it just does not tent and go out from the bus. We bring it in um, at the peplum. So it sits very, very pretty. This was another one, Ash will say, um, that she didn't think she was going to like this on her per, uh, personally on her body, okay? But when she put it on yesterday, she said the words, I didn't think I was gonna, this was gonna work with my body type and I really like it because, and you'll see it on her, it, it really continues to ma maintain its shape down past that bust line until it hits here at the waist, okay? That's what makes it really, really um, flattering on all bottom types, okay. Ooh, love the pastels, love the style of the top, so, so flattering. I saw some um, call, some questions, but I think I missed them. I can't remember what they said. So if I didn't, if you didn't get your question asked, try to ask again, and our staff who's answering from home will try to help you. But um, this runs uh, true to size. Um, it has like the drop shoulder, kind of the Henley um, shoulder here at that. And let's go ahead and I wear the small. Ash is going to wear the small. Everyone stays in their normal size in this one. Um, Katie says Katie wear, can, uh, wears the small. I would guess she could probably wear the extra small as well. Um, I would guess. You know, I want my team back. <laughs> I, want to know for, I want them to be here. I want them to know for sure. Okay, Ash in it. Ash, are you dressed? Did I give yeah. you guys enough time? I'm trying to make myself talk longer. Okay, look. See what I mean? See how this, what's in your hand? A note for you. Oh. It's a love letter. Okay. Oh, the yeah. note is, you guys, there's more necklaces. Refresh your screen. Um, we reloaded the necklace listings. Hopefully, we're able to reload all of them, but refresh your so screen. Refresh, okay. right. Refresh your screen. Okay. So, see what I mean by this? See how it stays, stays close to her body up at the top, up at the bust, and see here at the back? Okay. So, it does not tent out like a peplum normally would do from the bust and go out. Okay, we kept it close to the body, which makes it really flattering, okay? So small on her, and the, the yep. shoulder sleeve is great, nice V, just comfortable, casual. What are you pointing at? Are those? Maybe I need to get her on me. Maybe there's a reason you haven't been on these lately. Ten <laughs> okay, year. so, Ten year. okay, looks great. Um, on the small on her, and then you'll see the small stories, and then Amanda's in the extra large, which is her normal size as well. Oh, sorry. Looking at Ashley. <laughs> and then, um, so those of you afraid of peplums for your concern of them not, you know, tenting too far off the bust, this comes down and hugs you at the bust line, okay, to really give you shaping and then coming out, okay? Looks really good, okay? Jocelyn says, Ash, that looks amazing in you. Amanda, that looks so great. Love the peplum. Would love to see it in a coral or a sage. This is coral. Where did what did I just do with it? Oh, right here. It is coral. This is all coral. Okay, and then this is all like a, a gray blue hues through there to give that contrast in the dye dye. Okay. Um, all right. So flattering. Amanda looks great. All right. Let's move on to. Do I just have the last thing? The PJ shorts. All right. This guy, um, you've seen this material before, um, and you've seen this in our slub pullover. You've seen it in our um, in our joggers, <laughs> and now um, those joggers have turned into a pajama short. So, if there was any perfect time that our first pajama short could come out, um, now is the perfect time <laughs> for those of you. Um, who are at home and want something to lounge in okay so this is the same material same print as our slouch pullover and same material so it is that um loop terry just a little bit warmer than just a jersey giving you a lot a little bit more substance but super comfortable on the body now um, this print existed long before Tiger King existed, you guys, okay? So, no, I'm not making Tiger things um, because the whole Tiger King situation um, right now, okay? But if you're a Tiger King enthusiast, um, maybe you can watch Tiger King in your, in your leopard shorts and feel like you fit in just fine, right? Okay, now the thing with this, you guys, is these are, again, another one that we moved to made in the USA. There is supposed to be two, I think two, if not three more colors 
I think two in these. Um, and unfortunately due to us moving production and then production in the US getting shut down, um, our other colors were not able to get out. That factory, our factory in New York had to close down. These are made in New York, um, had to close down to their shelter in place. So these were the only ones that were done in time before the other colors. Now, I really wish we had the other colors because I felt like it rounded out a color line for us. We don't know at this point if we are ever actually ever going to get those. We hope that we are, but with so much unknown in New York right now, they, um, we don't know. So for right now, this is our only pajama short. And then if you're like, I'm not crazy about the print, um, I'm sorry, I wish I had other print options for you, but right now this is the only, the only pajama short because our other ones are um, closed up in their factory and they can't get to their factory and obviously they can't be working on sewing them. So um, they do have pockets, and you can see, sorry, you can't see, nice, generous pockets. These have a lower rise than what some of our higher rise um, joggers do, okay? These just are just meant to be pajama shorts. They don't have much tension at the waist. They're nice and loose, but if you want more tension at the waist, you can use that um, real drawstring. If you're a type of person like that, I'm really gonna wear these to sleep and you don't want the drawstring, just pull the drawstring out and you have no more drawstring, okay? Or if you need the drawstring, you can use it. Um, these run true to size. Now, I size up to the medium, just like I do in most of my shorts because of the reason of my thighs. I got some big thighs for a small, and so I like more um, of a relaxed fit in my thigh, in my sleep pajama shorts. So I size up. So I would not size up in these unless you know you have thunder thighs, like myself, okay? If you have, um, if you want something looser and not fit it through your leg. Now Katie, um, she stays in the small because she's got chicken legs. <laughs> she doesn't have thunder thighs, she's got chicken legs. <laughs> Okay, so she doesn't have a problem with there being tension or anything on the thighs. I always, always have had issues myself with buying shorts like this. I always have to go up in them because of my thighs. So this isn't Grace and Lace related. Um, this is a normal spec, like a normal measurement spec for a pair of pajama shorts. So if you're the type, like you're gonna shop for pajamas at Target or whatever, and if you would normally size up, then I would size up, but otherwise I would stay in your normal size. We did in your normal size for someone who has normal thighs. <laughs> in your normal size for someone who has normal thighs, um, these would be normally nice, more relaxed, but because my thighs are bigger, I do go to the medium. Lexi goes to the medium as well in them. Okay, so Katie stays in the small. Michelle, Morgan, and Kaylee all wear the extra small, okay, um, like normal. Uh, but I, I do go to the medium in these, and it's not because of the waist, it's because of uh, my thighs, okay? So, the functional drawstring, uh, is the drawstring functional? Yes, it is, it is functional. You can take it out, you can leave it in, you can pull it all the way out if you don't want it, um, and the, the waist is not snug on these, okay? I mean, it, it, it's snug in that they stay up, but they're not like, it's not like a tight-fitted, waistband like sometimes I go up like I went up in our um, pajama pants because of just having an overall looser fit and I wanted a looser waist in those these this waistband is not as tight as our pajama pants looser and a little bit lower of a rise okay Woo! all right uh, Ash is in these same thing she goes to the medium because of booty and hips <laughs> okay and overall just lounge so new quarantine short uniform <laughs> for you guys if you're at home and you're like a pants wearing person or if you're shorts wearing person short sleeping person really easy she goes to medium for the thigh and the booty for the same reason that i do but the waistband's not tight you can make it tighter if you need to but it sits there it feels good not meant to suck you in meant to like sleep in and feel good okay stay in this okay all day. Can, that's fine okay necklace is sold out again um okay colleen uh hold tight for us so what we were able to do in the note that was passed to me is we were able to transfer the buffer um, necklaces over, um, which was just a few. I'm still going to list, uh, relist those necklaces based on what the artisans can make. I need to have a phone call with them right after this so that we can find out what that number is so we don't commit to making hundreds and then they can't make hundreds, okay? So hold tight, make sure you sign up for the restock notify. Um, is the restock notify on there? Ashley is five one and a half. 
Five two, Ash. Five three. I'm five three. Thank Good you. Job, please. <laughs> no, she says she's five three. I don't know. Not five. Katie's five one and a half. Katie thinks she's, she's five like two. <laughs> okay. Uh, will a plus size iPhone stay in the pocket? I don't know. Ash, can you do? Ash has got a big question? iPhone. Does your iPhone fit in the pocket? Oh yeah, it's deep. Okay. Nice deep pocket on it. All right. Um, and then Amanda's in the extra large. In these no restock yet of uh, Cheryl check my re can mash will you check text Nicole and, uh, or Zach and get the restock notify up on there okay um or she large on her so comfortable loungy that not too tight in her waist not too loose in her waist and just feels great she said she's getting these to sleep in okay I'm really easy okay oh Renee says the restock is on there now thank you Thank you guys. Okay. All right. Is that it? The two things, you guys. Um, I don't know that I need to feel like if I have to clarify for you guys. Um, there was a lot of confusion about how our mask donating is working. Um, you guys, I, and I should have maybe just started this live with this. You guys know our heart. You guys know our business was started from a tragedy, and you know that that tragedy um has just turned us into desiring to give back and to support others and since day one we have funded orphanages we've rescued orphanages we've, we've rescued people in india and nepal from the sex trade in our um homes there and so my heart is to give in whatever way that we can give when we found out that we have the ability to make masks and to access masks and the rest of the world somehow cannot and there's so much red tape in the medical industry here um, believe me my heart is I would love to give away a hundred thousand masks I want you guys to know that and I trust that you guys know that about me but I know a lot of new customers or there's people out there that are doubting and uh, challenging our intent for this we're not sitting on masks we're not holding masks we're not waiting to ship masks literally whatever we can get and whatever we can fund we are bringing in as quickly as we can get in and my little small five skeleton crew who is willing to come in and ship um, has been working their tail off to get those out so we're donating them to the thousands of hospitals and ER ERs and medical facilities who have contacted us and said they desperately need them um, yes I'm aware that there are masks that are certain qualities that are better than others you guys at this point we are whatever we can get is whatever we are giving so um, we've had doctors tell us you guys that yes um we need the kn95 mask and we're getting more of those in but right now we just have disposable and he's like two disposable will work then better than nothing covering my face okay so um the thing is is i can't spend my money in this type of economy while i still have to pay people um and run this business i can't put all of my money in to our grace and lace funds to donate masks okay so that's why we did this fundraiser we are linking arms with you together and because of that you guys we have been able to donate over 18,000 masks 18,500 was the last time that i checked okay that is incredible because to this point until your donations came in grace and lace was able to donate 2500 and now working together see how much more great that we can do and that's what this is all about i'm not this is there's no profit in this there's no like the i'm not taking your money and only using a portion of it for mask it your donations are straight dollar for dollar what you can give is exactly what we're putting in to be the middleman to get more masks out so thank you first of all thank you for those of you who believe in us and are willing to support um, this mission with us to see these nurses come by and pick these up in front of our front door um, and wave at us through the window i'm gonna get emotional for a second and wave at us through the windows and just thank us for our efforts like sorry that's what makes this all worth it to me like we're able to stay open and yes we sell clothes but the fact that we're just able to do something to make someone's job a little bit more secure who's on the front lines of fighting this thing sorry is what really really makes it worth it to me so thank you guys really thank you guys truly for your support like this is not about us this is not about keeping grace and lace's doors open although i am so thankful that it has been able to make us an, an essential business at this time because we are able to do these things so Thank you for that. I still can't believe that um, we're going to be able to donate over 
20,000 masks and maybe, maybe even more than that. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for teaming up with us in this effort. Like it, tr it truly means the world that um, whatever piece we can do, whatever thing, however we can help our world be better right now is um, we're in this together for. So, okay. Sorry. Love you guys. We will um, probably see you next week for another, uh, I don't know, <laughs> whatever this has turned into. Happy distraction. <laughs> Hopefully that's what it is for you guys. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.